Bobby, you guys have a 15 point lead with, I guess, nine to go. Can you ever relax? Do you ever relax? And obviously, you couldn't in this one. Uh, you can't with this bunch. Uh, we let down. We let down when we get ahead like that. We let down. We've done it repeatedly. Justin Jackson. I was just talking to Gabe, and I just can't really quite get over that uh, collision uh, he had with Bolton at the end of the game. I mean, that's a pretty tough play for him to make, but uh, that might be the play that uh, saved this game for you. Play the game without a question. Yeah. I mean, as it turned out, I think it was better for us. I mean, we, it was, I, I thought it was a, a, a charge. Um, but that would have given us the ball out of bounds instead of having uh, Taz go to the free throw line. So I think Taz is our best guy under pressure. Skylar Callahan. Hey, Bob, in the post game, you said there, there's about a 127 mile gap between where you want to be. What's that, that number one thing that needs that you need to see from this team to kind of close that gap before we get to March? I think you have to care. I think you have to care uh, care about your man scoring on you. I think you have to care about not helping your teammate by not making a rotation. I think you have to care about not blocking somebody out. I think you have to, I mean, it, it, it's, we just, we get ahead and we just kind of stand around. I mean, there's a situation when they're making their run they, they take a shot from the corner, it hits the front of the rim, it bounces twice, and we had two guys there, and they never took a step. And they picked it up and then and then made another three to, 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 to make it, I think that's what cut it to two, if I'm not mistaken. They didn't take a step. That's just hard for me to fathom. I mean, all the years I've done this, all the years I've coached guys, I mean, we're and, and and it's it's not just defense; it's everything. I mean, you tell them don't 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 dribble the ball twenty five times between your legs, and not go anywhere. They still do it. I thought one of the big plays that that, that really hurt us. We had a layup. We had a layup. We we throw a wraparound pass to a to a, a, a five foot nine guy who can't score in the traffic, and we lose the ball. They come down and make another three. You know, why, you know, I keep asking them why, why, why do you have to dribble between your legs so many times? It hasn't helped your shooting any. Hard group to figure out. Next is Ryan Pritt. Hey, Bob, a little bit more on Gabe. I mean, you know, it's kind of it's just odd. You see a guy play 13 minutes. He doesn't attempt a shot from the floor and comes up with unarguably the two biggest plays of the game on the last two possessions. Um, you know, for, for as good as you guys are playing offensively, is it one of those things where he's going to have to see more minutes as you guys move forward just because of what he's given you defensively? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, he's like he's like uh, the rest of the guys. I mean, this this has been a very very unusual year in that, you know, it's not it's not like guys take it. You know, we give them a day off, or sometimes give them two days off. These guys have had weeks off, and and I mean, look at Gabe. Gabe is a big dude, you know, and and when he when he's not working out daily. Um, I mean, he's he's going to struggle a little longer to get back in shape, and 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 that's, I mean, I think that's been our issue. It's not we don't want him on the floor. We certainly want him on the floor. Back to Greg. Bob, you talked about Emmett uh, yesterday, and you know him trying to get back in shape. What what did you think of his effort and performance today? Well, I think he's he's close to being back. I don't I don't think it's a matter of his of his win now. I think it's just a matter of him gaining the weight back. Uh, I 
think as soon as he gains the weight back, he he will be every bit of what he was because he I mean, he played this this is the most minutes by far that he's played. And I and I thought he played pretty well. Ethan Bach and then Justin. Hey, Coach. Uh, I feel like when Kedrian's out on the court, there's a different energy on defense. How much has Kedrian improved since he got here? Oh, he's improved a lot. He's improved an awful lot. And he's coachable, which is, which is really important as well. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Coach, um, Taz and Sean give you 10 of 17 combined tonight, uh, four threes. Um, you know, we, we talk a lot about, you know, junior college guys, when they first come in, they got to get comfortable and, and you know, find their niche. And, you know, sometimes that takes a year. And then that second year in the program is, is when they begin to blossom. Um, I, I guess, why is that? And, and what you're seeing from them now are, probably very comfortable in, in what they're producing for you now, probably what you saw a couple of years ago uh, from them coming out of JC. Well, because I think that, that people who, who don't uh, know what we do and what those guys go through um, can't understand. Um, guys are bigger, stronger, faster. They're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster than they ever played against in junior college. And, you know, you're, you're talking about maybe having a, a, a junior, a three-year, third-year junior who has lifted for three years with probably the best strength coach in America in, in, in Sean Brown. And now you're going to throw those guys in there and think they're going to be able to compete. And it's, you know, it's a physical game. And I think that plus I think guys are bigger, guys are faster, guys are quicker. That's that's why there's just a few junior college guys that that make the transfer and make it successful because they've got to work like crazy to catch up. Anything further for coach? Okay, Coach, thanks a lot for the time. My pleasure. That'll do it tonight, guys. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.